A very good afternoon and welcome to this conversation called uh, The Data Inside Me. My name is Nzinga Kunda. I'm a business news anchor from South Africa. And it's my great pleasure to be in conversation with Will Ahmed, who is the founder of Whoop, which is the world's most valuable standalone stand wearables company about wearable tech and its potential. Well, just talk to me about how you've seen technology wearable tech advance from 2012 until now. Yeah, I think over the last 10 years, we've seen an enormous shift in wearable technology. Uh, I founded Whoop 10 years ago, so I've been in this space for a while. And really what you've seen is technology that's going from telling people information that is largely not um, overwhelmingly uh, useful for being able to drive behavior change, drive health improvement, to now a new age of wearable technology that actually is able to action and change people's behavior. And I think that's a pretty fundamental shift in the way that uh, health monitoring is being used today. Yeah, so then let's talk about how health monitoring has the power to affect research in particular. Yeah, I think that continuous monitoring of the body, so 24-7 health monitoring, has the potential to really unlock all sorts of insights around research. What we do at Whoop is we build wearable technology. It's a small sensor, uh, and it's measuring your body, as I said, 24-7 around things like sleep and recovery and exercise. We have a health alerting uh, feature that allows you to understand when something may be off about your body and alert you to it. And what we've also been able to see is that the research community itself is operating with very small sample sizes. So doctors will get together and they'll conduct a research study and it'll include 10 people, 20 people, 30 people. And some of the best publications will write about the findings from that. Well, what happens when you've got thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people as that data set? It just has an unbelievable potential for what it's gonna unlock in research. And then when it comes to transforming healthcare, what is that kind of data that you're speaking about? What's the potential for it in the healthcare sector for the future? Well, the, the healthcare space is challenged, especially in the United States, because uh, it really has all these curative costs. And curative costs make the, the, the whole market very inefficient. So you're treating a patient after something bad has happened. And if you think about the potential of wearable technology and health monitoring, it's really looking at how you can shift an enormous number of curative costs to being preventative costs. So it's obviously a, a, a much easier thing if you identify a heart attack before it happens versus after, yeah. right? If you identify illnesses when they're on the cusp of happening or you can con convince someone to stay home versus they're spreading illnesses to other people. Mm -hmm. That was one of the phenomenons we saw with COVID. So I think the whole healthcare industry has the potential to be transformed by wearable technology and continuous health monitoring. And I think because version one of wearables was somewhat underwhelming, I think people are underestimating the degree to which it's mm. gonna transform the industry. Let's stay on that point that you've made, Will, about healthcare. It's not just um, about going to the doctor when you're sick. A large part of the healthcare sector is the preventative space, which you can play in with wearable tech. What's the potential of that? And how much more of that needs to be tapped into when it comes to healthcare? Well, I think you really hit on it, right? Like the idea that you go to see a doctor on some random day of the year for a checkup and there's no context for what happened over the last week or month, let alone what you even did that day, which may affect yeah. the readings they take. The, the system that I believe is the future is one where you're going to go see a doctor 30 minutes before something's about to happen. And it's much more actionable. It's much more preventative. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be a combination of innovation that happens on the sensing side as well as the ecosystem around healthcare in general, how that data gets shared with a doctor, and how it ultimately makes it uh, actionable and preventative. Mm -hmm. And what's the, I mean, we have spoken about it, but when you think practically, how much more can data do uh, to transform the healthcare sector now and later? Well, what gets me excited is this whole opportunity of, first of all, putting more information in the patient's hand or the individual's hand, the consumer, right? Uh, I think consumers today don't actually know what they're doing to their bodies. You take something like sleep, it's about a third of your life. And for most people, it's a completely blind period of their life. They have no idea what's happening. And if you can start measuring that period, you can start managing it. 
there's a lot of similar aspects to things about your physiology, things about your lifestyle, your overall behavior. And when you can start measuring these things, you can take true actions against them. Figure out what's the list of things in your life that you need to change to be healthier or to live a more productive life. So that's a lot of what we focus on at WHOOP. And once you have individuals who are more empowered by their data, I think that the healthcare system actually starts to fall better into place. And how then do you convince people who you've said are hesitant or resident to come onto that space and to use wearable tech in order to track their lives? Yeah, I mean, I think privacy and security of data is really important. We ultimately believe that a WHOOP member owns their own data, which is a different stance than other large technology companies have taken in the space. We think that the individual should own the data, and they should be able to consent to who has access to it. So that could be their doctor, that could be their healthcare provider, that could be no one. It could be loved ones, could be family members. So we, we ultimately view this data as something that the individual consumer should control. And that's very different, I think, than other technology companies that fl frankly have monetized your data in the past. Mm -hmm. So we want to put health data in the hands of the end user. And then talk to me about, if we're talking about the differences between Whoop and other providers or other electronics makers, what do you think is the difference in terms of where you're also going to be going in the future and the technologies that you're looking at using? Yeah, I mean, we have a very deep focus on health monitoring. So, you know, Whoop is great at all the things it does for all the things that it doesn't do. We're not a smartwatch. We don't have a bunch of apps on our sensor. Uh, you're not going to be able to flag an Uber or make a phone call with a Whoop. But when it comes to health monitoring, uh, we really think of ourselves as the best game in town. We have a huge focus on accuracy and data collection. Uh, we have a, a sensor configuration that allows you to wear Whoop throughout your body or on the wrist. Uh, you can charge the Whoop without ever taking it off. So truly 24-7 data. Uh, and so for those reasons, we feel we have a differentiated offering. Mm -hmm. The last thing I would say is it actually ultimately becomes less about the sensor and more about the data and the software and how you can action all this information. Mm -hmm. Collecting more data isn't necessarily a positive thing if you can't teach someone what to do with it. So we have a big focus on coaching. We have a big focus on uh, what information you need to know in a moment to do the next thing that's good for you. Okay. And finally, I mean, you've spoken about some of the features, the waterproof feature. What's next for the future of Whoop, if I'm a Whoop member? Yeah, if you're a Whoop member, uh, part of what makes it unique is we're coming out with new features and, and software and analytics every month. We're doing a lot of research right now in uh, weightlifting and muscular strain. We're doing a lot of work around pregnancy. We're doing work around stress. Uh, so we have, we have some really exciting features that are coming out uh, shortly. And then in terms of the hardware, it's always going to get smaller and smarter over time. And part of the benefit to being a Whoop member is you get those technology upgrades as part of your subscription. Mm -hmm. So the hardware is just included in the membership. Okay. Well, for a lot of the conversation, we've been speaking also about healthcare almost as a standalone entity. But of course, with anything, you need to interact with other industries. Uh, yours is obviously tech and health. What other industries do you think need to come in in order to realize um, some of the visions you've spoken about, the importance of using your data properly? It's going to be really important for a variety of products, I think, first of all, in the health space, to be able to share data together and put the consumer, again, in, in, the, in the position of power uh, to control what information they're looking at and how, how all this data interacts. Okay. You know, it, I think it's problematic today that a, a consumer might have six or eight different apps that they're using to figure out their health. And so you ultimately want to bring more of that information into one location. Uh, which, of course, is what we're focused on uh, at Whoop. But it, it involves partnerships, too, because there's certain data that we're not going to actively go collect or build hardware to collect or form factors we're not going to focus on. And therefore, we want to ultimately have the technology and the partnerships to enable that for the user. Mm -hmm. And your final words on the panel before we go to the people who are listening to what the future of healthcare data and tech is? I think it's really exciting. I think health monitoring has the potential not just to improve people's lives, but save people's lives. And I think the next three years are going to blow people away for what it's going to be able to do. Thank you very much, Will Ahmed, the founder of Whoop, the world's most valuable standalone wearables company. Thanks for that conversation. Thank you so much.